Hi friends, welcome to SPG Learning. In this video, we are going to learn how to develop student mark sheet using Android Studio. Student mark sheet processing. It includes various fields that is displayed in the diagram. The mark sheet processing includes total, average and rate calculations. First total, it is the sum of all 5 subjects that is Max, English, Physics, Chemistry and Computer Science addition. Average it is defined as the ratio between total and the number of subjects. Here we have 5 subjects and the total divided by the 5 subject is an average. Grade. It is a standard measurement of the level of achievement of a student. Here we use 4 different grades. The criteria are grade A, the average should be greater than equal to 75. For grade B, the average is between 65 to less than 75. Grade C, the average is between 55 to less than 65. Grade D, 40 to less than 55. If the average mark is less than 40 means the particular student is declared as failed. The primary criteria for the student mark sheet is the student must get greater and equal 40 marks in all the 5 subjects. Let's do this mark sheet in Android Studio. First open the Android Studio. It will take a while. Then click File New New Project. In that select Empty Activity and click Next. Then type the application name as Student Mark Sheet App and click Finish. First, we have to add the student image. Here, I am going to add the image which I have already downloaded. You can also use your own image. For that, we have to go to RES folder, then, then move to drawable folder and click open in and select explore now the drawable folder is opened in the file explorer then go to the folder where the image is available then drag and drop it into the drawable folder Here I have drag and drop the student PNG file image. Now we get the image in our Android Studio. To create the colors to be used in the app, go to RES folder and click values then open colors.xml file. Add the new colors. Here I have added two new colors one for background and one for text color. 
The background color is given as dark teal and the text color to be used in text view is declared as dark pink. Then to add the mark sheet field to be used in the application activation code, go to again res folder and move to values then open strings.xml file. The field to be added are first is the title. Second is the student name, then all the subject names English, Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry and Computer Science. Then the calculation fields total, average and grade are added. Also add the name for button, OK and clear. Let's do the front page design of our mark sheet app in activity underscore main dot xml file. First change the layout to linear layout. Then specify the orientation as vertical and set the layout background color as dark teal from colors.xml. Also set the layout gravity as center. Now we add the views in the layout. First to add the views again create one more linear layout and set the width and height as match parent with orientation vertical and gravity as center. Then add one more layout as linear with the width as match parent and height as graph content with the orientation as vertical and gravity as center. Within this layout add a text view. This text view is used to insert the title value the layout values are width and height as wrap content, layout margin bottom as 30 sp, gravity as center, text value from string.xml file as student mark sheet processing. Now set the text formatting for the text with the size 20 dp, style bold color from colors.xml file as purple. Now add the image using image view. In that add the image with the help of drawable folder where we already add our student image. Use the image and set the layout width as 200 sp and height as 100 sp with the gravity field as center. Now the image is added in the layout. Now close the inner layout. Then create one more linear layout to add the student fields. With layout width as match parent, layout height as wrap content with orientation horizontal, gravity as center. In that add text view for student name. With layout width as 0 dp, layout height as wrap content, weight as 1 and margin left as 15 dp. Also add the text from string.xml file. Now set the text formatting as size 18 dp, style italic, color from color.xml file that is dark pink which we have added in the color xml file 
Now add the edit text to get the student name from the user. The field values are layout width as 0 TV, layout height as wrap content, weight as 0, ID as student name, the text color as black, text style as bold, text size as 18 dp, gravity as center. To add other fields of student mark sheet, copy and paste the linear layout. First for English mark, in the Ed text view, change the text field to English from string file and in edit text change the id as english similarly do it for max first paste the code and change the text view and text field that is edit text id for physics also paste the code and change the text view text field as physics and in edit text change the id similarly do it for chemistry and computer science. Repeat the step for total, average and also grade. Our student fields are not properly visible. So move the text view using the layout margin left to 15 dp. Do the same for all the fields. Now all the fields are added. Now create a button using one more linear layout with layout width as match parent, layout height as wrap content, orientation horizontal, gravity as right. Now add the OK button to activate the calculation for total, average and grade. The button fields are layout width, wrap content, layout height, wrap content, text from string.xml file that is ok, text color as white and id as button ok. Copy and paste the button code and change the text to clear using string.xml file value. Up to this design part of our mark sheet processing is over. Let's do the implementation. For that open main activity.java. Add the edit text fields. Totally we have 9 edit text fields. So add 9 edit text variable from 1 to 9. Add 2 button variable. For button OK and button clear. Let's get the value from view to the variable using find view by id method. First assign the student name to edit text 1. Copy and paste the line for assigning other fields that is other remaining 8 field English, Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry, Computer Science, Total, Average and Grade. Then assign button OK to button OK and button clear to button clear. Now create a new method for OK button using set on click listener. In that, declare the marks as English, Maths, Physics, Chemistry, Computer Science and total as integer and average as double, grade as string. To add the marks, first convert all the string values of marks to integer using parse in method. After that, to find the total, use the plus arithmetic operator and add all the marks. Then convert the value using value of function 
and assign it to edit text 7. Now calculate the average by dividing the value in the total variables that is by 5 subjects. Then convert the value using value of and assign it to edit text 8. Now use the if else conditional statement to calculate the grade. First the primary condition is to be mentioned. That is, all the subject of the student must be greater than or equal to 40. Then only the grade should be displayed. That is given in the first if statement. And then check the grade one by one. We have taken five criteria. First criteria. That is in the first if statement. If average greater than or equal to 75, then edit text 9 is set to A. Otherwise, check if average greater than or equal to 65 and less than 75. Then edit text 9 is set with B. Otherwise, check if average greater than or equal to 55 and Average less than 65. Then edit text 9 is set with C. Otherwise check if average greater than or equal to 40 and average less than 55. Then edit text 9 is set with D grade. At last the grade is displayed as fail. That is if none of the above condition is true the grade is set to fail. Now create the clear method with set on click listener. In that just add the edit text 1 and use the set text method with double quote open and close to clear the student name. Repeat the step by copy and pasting the line and change the text number with 2 to 9. So all the 9 field values are cleared by clicking the clear method. Up to this implementation work is over. Now run the app by clicking the run button. Our app is displayed in the emulator. Let's add the values. Name value as AAAAA, English mark as 45, Max as 67, Physics as 89, Chemistry as 80, Computer Science as 100. Then click OK button. The values are displayed. Check the primary category that is all the field should be greater than 40. For that add one more value the student name with PPPPP and English mark as 30, Max 45, Physics 100, Chemistry 80, Computer Science 90. Then click OK, we get the result as the grade with fail. So all the conditions are worked properly. Thank you.